Hey everyone, it's Allison Haikila. Thank you so much for joining me today. We're going to be playing with Kaleidacolor ink pads on a gel press plate today. I pulled out four different colorways. I have a ton of these. There are a ton of them on the Imagine website. This is just a small portion of what's available. There's even an empty Kaleidacolor pad. Um, and you can fill it with whatever re you want so that you can make your own rainbow pad. So this is what they look like. You can see all the different colors there. And what's cool is you can leave the ink pad separate, and you need to leave them separate when you're storing them, but when you're ready to use them, you can have the option of clicking them together so that it's, the colors are seamless, which is very cool. I use these all the time. I love them. They're so much fun to play with. And I figured we'd make some very cool fall gel press prints today. So I've got Cappuccino Delight, Creole Spice, Denim, and Desert Heat. I don't know if we're going to use all of them, but we're definitely going to start off with the Cappuccino Delight. Let me show you the foliage I pulled from my garden today. So I've got this really big oak leaf. I've got a little one too. And we have a couple of ferns. It's it's fall in New York. It's fall. Um, I don't know what the weather's like where you are, but the weather is glorious today. And I thought it was a good time to just scavenge around and find some foliage that I wanted to work with. This is from my witch hazel. All of these leaves are from my witch hazel that I have growing. And then I've got, this is from a peony. This is also witch hazel. I've also grabbed some tomato leaves. They're a little floppy. I just did it about five minutes ago, but they're floppy already. Uh, and then we have some wild strawberry foliage. That's what those are. And then this is from a spirea. And I'll probably wind up pulling that apart if we use that. Look at all of the veining though. So pretty. So these are gonna give us some really beautiful impressions on our plate. Okay, let me move these off to the side again like to grab different sizes, uh, different shapes, all of that, you know, so that we can experiment a little bit. So I have my five by seven gel press plate on a thin acrylic block, just so that I have the ease of movement if I need to. I have my brayer. I like to use this brayer when I'm working with ink. I don't really use this one for paint. It's just my preference. I have other ones that I use for paint. Um, easy to clean and let's get started. Okay. I'm starting off with the Cappuccino Delight. How are we going to work this? Let's go like this. We're going to just, I'm clipping them apart at the moment. Now, you know what? Let's click them. Let's click them together. I'm going to just work this right down the whole plate. And then I'm going to flip it over and overlap where I just was at the end with the same color, approximately. Now, there's a lot of ink on here. You really don't even need to use this much. Make sure when you're done, you unclick so that this way the colors don't permanently bleed together. And now I'm going to use my brayer and just carefully kind of roll that down. We've got a lot of ink left on here too. So we're going to leave that here for now. and Maybe we'll use that in a minute. I'm going to start with a witch hazel leaf and carefully push this in. This is a little crispy. We'll see what we're going to get with that. I've got a fern. That one's not really sitting too well, but we'll work, we'll make it work. There's another witch hazel here. Let's go with this tomato leaf. I think that's going to be really pretty. I have pre-cut some uh, copy paper down to uh, half. It's just eight and a half by eleven copy paper. I cut it in half. Okay. going to add one more spirea leaf up here. Okay. So here's my copy paper. I'm going to push this down and try to get up as much of that ink as possible. And there are plenty of ways that you can pull these prints, all different types of inks that you can use. But I really like using the Kaleida colors because I can easily get a nice range of colors very quickly and there's no guesswork. So now I'm going to hold my hand on the paper and carefully lift this off. 
I'm going to lift off whatever foliage I can, but keep the paper in place. See how I'm lifting that up, but it's still kind of where it needs to be? This is going to be the tricky part. The tomato leaf is going to be tricky. We're going to lift it up this way. And try not to drag it out. Try to just lift it straight up. And now we're going to press again. How pretty is that? Look at that. Look at all of those different textures. And if we want to blend this a little bit more, we can spray it with some water. We'll do that next. Let's try that now. Okay. So we're going to take the Cappuccino Delight again, because I really like this one. And I'm going to apply the ink going down and again on the other side. Unclick. And now we'll do, let's try this oak leaf, because it's really big. That oak leaf in there, another piece of fern. And we've got a smaller tomato plant here. And you know what, that might be okay. We're gonna just leave it like that. Of course, I did not spray it with water this time, like I said I was going to, but that's all right. We'll, we'll do that with the next one. I didn't even use my brayer. I was so excited to get these leaves <laughs> on my plate, but that's okay because you get to see different types of effects depending on what you do with the plate and with your ink and all of that. So, okay, so we're gonna start by removing this fern. Again, I'm lifting it straight up. And then I'm gonna move the tomato leaf, lifting it straight up. And I'm gonna try my best to get this oak leaf out. There we go. And now I'm gonna push again rubbing the paper into the plate. So pretty. Look at all that texture. Okay, this time, let us use the excess ink here and see what we get with that. And I'm gonna spray it with some water Kind of see those colors coming to life when it gets sprayed. Let's do this with hazel again and we've got the tomato leaf, our fern. There's no wrong way to do this. It's all about playing and experimenting. How's that? I think that looks nice. Okay. Push this down, and then we'll switch to a new color palette. What I like about using the 5x7 plate for is because it allows me to get A2 size cards easily. Um, I cut it down, I choose the areas that I like the best, I can easily cut it down, and then I can make my cards. And then the leftovers can always be used for something else. Bring all of these pieces out very carefully. Okay, let's see what we get. This might be a little too wet, but that's all right. Oh, I like that though. Look at how pretty that is. This fern came out great. Isn't that fun? So you can choose what area you like best. Like I really like this fern, so I'd probably use you know, this upper portion, and then save this strip for something else. Okay, let's move on. Let's try Creole Spice. This is a fun one. It's got a nice range of colors on it. I click that together. And now I'm going to work the ink down the side. And I'm going to flip it around and repeat. Okay. Got a little ink on here, so I'm just going to use it on um, a spare sheet that we can use 
and later. My roll-off prints are often some of my favorite things to work with. Roll that off again. I'm going to spray it with a bit of water. You can also use ink potion number nine. That helps with blending. It helps ink stay wet a little bit longer. But the water in this case, I think, is okay. All right, we're going to use the oak leaf over here on the side this time, I think. And then I'm going to grab my peony leaf. We haven't used that yet. And then how about a cluster of the wild strawberry leaves? And we'll see what we get with that. That's pretty. And we're going to grab this fern just for a little bit more texture. Okay. Got my paper again. Carefully push this down. That oak leaf is popping up. Okay. And now we're going to carefully lift all of our foliage out from underneath the paper. Get that fern out, the strawberry leaves. Maybe I should grab tweezers. <laughs> Okay, and then we're going to get that oak leaf. Perfect. What do you think? you think it's going to come out good? I hope so. Oh, that looks so cool. I love these big splotches of color. That's fantastic. Look at this area here. That's beautiful. Let's do another one with this same ink palette. Okay. And you don't have to lift the foliage out. You can take a print. Maybe we'll try it this way. Let's, I'm going to just do what I'm thinking in my head. Okay. So this already has ink on there. I'm going to roll this out a little bit, but I like it because it might alter the color that it has below it because we're going to put it in a different spot. A little bit of water and now we're going to bring this one here again with the tomato leaf. I'm really liking that. Spirea leaf and how about hmm, let's see let's get a fern. We have this little area here that needs some attention. That looks good. Okay. So this time I'm going to do it differently. I'm going to take this ink up and then I will remove all of the foliage and get a new piece of paper and use that. It's going to give us a different look. And then you can let me know in the comments which way you like better. So this is super empty, but it can be used for other things. You can doodle in here. You can put another couple of prints on here. Just layer it up, right? But look at how pretty these colors are blending together. Okay, so now I'm going to take the leaves off, just lifting them straight up. Because if you drag it, you'll um, alter the way the print is gonna come out. Can I go through all my paper? No, I still have more. Okay. And now we're taking a new print. This is what's considered a ghost print. Look at that. So we have all of this negative space here, but those colors are so pretty. Isn't that unique? So this is the original print. And then this one is the ghost print. So which do you like better? Do you like this style, either of these? Or do you prefer when they're all done at once? I'd love to know your thoughts. Shall we do one more? Let's do one more. Let's use the denim. Clicking this together. Flipping it around. 
And you can see that just by changing the colors, you change the vibe of the whole, the whole print, right? So if we were to do this with bright pinks, like the Berry Blaze um, Kaleidocolor pad, it would give a completely different look. Not sure if I'd want to use that one with this stuff, but it is, of course, an option for you. You can make it work however you want. Okay, let's do this. Let's get the other tomato leaf in here, like that. And spirea. And another spirea. Okay. Where's my little fern? Here it is. I've got leaves all over my desk now. And inky fingers. Which means that we've had a productive day. Okay. I'm going to go back to the way we were doing it earlier and just use one print as opposed to two. If you hear that loud yelling, that's my cat tomato. He's 20 years old. He's just letting us know that he is awake and perhaps a little hungry, although he does have food in his plate. <laughs> Okay, we're going to lift this off carefully. What's nice is that the gel press plate holds your paper for you a bit, but it is good to keep your hand there as well, just to make sure it really isn't going to go anywhere. Oh, that came out really cool. So I hope that this gave you some ideas. I encourage you to go into your own yard or around town and see what kind of foliage you find that is interesting. You know, make sure that you get different shapes and different styles and just experiment. And then be sure to watch my blog, Allison Heikela Designs, to, excuse me, it's allisonheikela.com. <laughs> to see what I do with these completed prints. I'll be making some cards with them and I hope that you'll stop by and check them out. So thanks so much for hanging out with me today. I hope you learned a couple of things and I hope that you go and find some beautiful foliage to work with. This was a lot of fun, you guys. Thank you so much for hanging out. I'll see you guys all soon. Be well, stay safe, peace out.